Hi everybody! Um, those of you who watched my last video, you kind of saw how I was kind of struggling with creating and struggling with pottery and kind of talked about what I'm going to do in the future. So I did mention in that video that I do have some shows coming up and one of the things I really wanted to do for the show and that sh sold really well, like tea sets, so you know it comes with a mug, a saucer, um, you know, my tea strainers. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about how I do that. Like how much clay I use for each of the pieces. Um, you know, the range I kind of try to stay in when I'm making the saucers and the mugs so that they kind of match. Um, and then, the, you know, the saucer's not too big for the mug or the mug's not too big for the saucer. So along with doing this show, it ended up being a trade show, uh, but I got approved and paid my fee and all that jazz. So at the beginning of June, I think it's like the second week of June, I'm going to be doing a show. And along with wanting to do the tea sets, those particular tea sets are going to be a collaboration with another small art business, uh, Fern Tail, and that's run by Rachel, and they're going to be coming in and painting octopus mugs and starfish mugs and kind of sea life on the pieces. I'll probably be doing the sea turtles and stuff because I can't pass up doing some sea turtle mugs. So they're going to be doing the octopuses and stuff way better at doing those than I am. And it's, it's a fun collaboration. We really, really enjoy being able to do that. So they're going to be coming over doing the um, the painting and stuff on the mugs and the saucers. So I need to make sure to get those pieces done first before I do any of the other pieces for the show, just to make sure that I give them enough time to do the paintings and stuff on the pieces and um, that they'll be able to get finished in enough time for the show. So these are going to be the saucers. Um, so I tend to try to make these about 0.4 pounds. I'll put like the ounces and other measurements here on the screen too. And then my mugs are generally one and a half pounds to two pounds. And they're over here, as you can see, I've started a pile. And I try to center it lower to the bat because that makes it easier to make flat enough and to open. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to open it up. So it's very much like opening up a pot, only you don't go down as deep, obviously, because you started with a flatter surface. Just trying to make sure it's flat and relatively the same thickness. I will go back over with my rib to make sure it is the same thickness throughout. And then we're going to slow down the wheel a bit. I'm going to grab that tiny wall ever so gently. Start pulling it up a little bit. Grab some more clay. Bring that wall up a little bit more. I usually use my finger, sometimes I use a rib to help bring it down a little. Giving it support though, and not bringing it too far down. We just do it little bits at a time. Clean out all the water off of that. kind of going at an angle so I'm less likely to get it caught on the clay and just compress it and we take our wire and I always do them at, at one of the corners I don't usually pick a flat side to go under um, I usually pick one of the corners to go under the plate and I go slow and steady and there we go, we have our saucer. So this is about a 0.4 of a pound. 
So you see, it's, it's made a pretty decent saucer. Um, like I said, I don't like to make them too big so that they fit with the mugs that they're going to match. straight down, just tilt it a little. There we go, rounding it out. There we go. Go at the corner. Cool. There's our saucer. This is gonna be a mug. And I think this is about pound and a little over a pound and a half. Mugs to be more or less octopus shaped. So what I'm going to do is I kind of start them wider and more towards the bottom. And this helps them have kind of a wider bottom, which allows there to be more surface area to actually paint like you know the the main part of the octopus. And then it will kind of concave in a little for where the tentacles are. And we're going to go in and open it up. So I lost the audio on this part of the video. So I'm going to do a voiceover. So like I said, I try to keep the clay uh, centered closer to the bat. So that I allow for a wider shape. Which is what I'm looking for with these octopus mugs. And then I do try to keep... Uh, the pulling of the walls to three poles, I don't really do any more or any less. That allows for the walls to be the thickness that I prefer and so that I'm not overworking the B-mix, which tends to be a finickier clay. So as you can see here, I'm putting uh, pressure on the inside of the mug while using the outside and my sponge as a stabilizer to create that really round bottom that I'd like. And I also widen the piece all together just to make sure there's enough surface area to be able to have the octopus schwa. So as you can see, I'm going in with a tool, wooden tool, to trim the bottom and that's just so I don't have as much to do when I actually go to trim the foot onto the piece. And like with the saucers, I also use the corner to avoid warping and changing the shape on my mugs. And here I just have a sped up version of me pulling the walls and shaping the piece. Just to give you another um, example of me making these octopus mugs. Here we are, we've got our three saucers and the three mugs. And as you can see, I look like they'll pretty, be a pretty good match. I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Um, next week I'm hoping to be able to clean my studio and stuff and do another review, like two years later almost, of my wheel and how I like it and how it's been um, working. I got a patron request for doing that kind of video. So that's what I'm going to be doing and kind of just going over it. Um, I know in my last video I had a lot of questions about like the tray and whether it was hard to throw with and stuff. So I'll also be going over that. And yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!